In 2008, the United States and the world was rocked by a financial crisis that resulted in an $11 trillion loss. Yep, that's what $11 trillion looks like. And 10 million jobs lost here in the United States. I won't mesmerize you with talk of derivatives, mortgage-backed securities, or institutions that were too big to fail. I'd rather talk about the personal financial crisis that this created and that continues to this day. While we're going to talk about some depressing facts, the good news is that this story has a very happy ending for you. But before we can share the solution, we need to understand the depth of the problem. Today, the average credit score in the United States is 636 which means that people are paying the highest interest rates for everything. 76% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Students are drowning in student loan debt. Half of all marriages are ending in divorce, and by splitting the two incomes, the typical result is disastrous for credit scores. According to the Federal Reserve, more than half of all the debt collection activity on credit reports in America is medical bill related. Well, at least we have our savings. Not really. The National Institute of Retirement Security reports that Americans aged 55 to 64 have about 12,000 in savings. The group 35 to 44 has about 1,400 in savings. We could keep going, but I think you get the idea. Does this describe you or anyone you know? How is your credit score today? Do you know the name of the company that determines your credit score? Right, most people get this one, FICO. A quick question, can you tell me what FICO even stands for? Yeah, I didn't know either. It's a company that used to be called Fair Isaac Company, but they shortened the name to FICO. It's a hugely powerful company because they introduced the algorithm in 2000 that all the credit bureaus use to determine how much you will pay for cars, your home, insurance, etc. So, how can you understand how to improve your credit and eliminate debt if you don't even know the name of the company that determines your credit worthiness? Well, at this point, most people feel lost, unsure of where to turn for help. So, millions each year enroll for A, consumer credit counseling, B, credit repair, C, credit consolidation, or as a last resort, D, bankruptcy. Well, the correct answer is E, none of the above. These systems don't understand the FICO world. They cost lots of money and take years for incremental improvement. This is why we created 